Let's type it again. This is where I want my order button. Okay, now let's save this. Let's go back to our web page, and if we hit refresh, you're going to see it says this is where I want my order button. So you decide, yeah, I want the order button to go right there. And it's very easy to do that. So we go back, and first let's look at our order button code. Now, this is from 2checkout.com. Let me just highlight it, edit, and let me copy it. Okay, so now it's copied. That's a 2checkout.com order button. Uh, if you go into, if you get a 2checkout.com account, it'll allow you to process payments. And it's the same thing. You go through a wizard where you add a product and then you set up the confirmation page so that once somebody submits their payment, they're going to be directed to a download page. And then you generate a button and it gives you HTML code for the button or it can give you a hyperlink code if you just want a hyperlink to an image or just have a text link that says click here to buy. Well, they'll give you a hyperlink or, you know, a button. And I'm just showing you the button code. So I've, I've highlighted this is where I want my order button. Let me press delete. Now I just have a blink and a cursor. And remember, I copied the code for the order button already. So now I can hit paste and it pastes it in. Okay, and all this stuff is just, it's generated by 2checkout.com in my account. If I wanted a PayPal order button, I go into PayPal and it's going to generate something. It's not going to look like this, but it's going to generate a bunch of gobbledygook code that I don't have to understand. I just have to be able to use it. File, save. Now, in Perpetual Profits, I've also recommended ClickBank as a payment processor. They don't give you order buttons, but they give you hyperlinks. So you can create an image that says order now and then hyperlink to it, or you can just have a text link where someone, you know, click here to buy, and you can make that a hyperlink. So with ClickBank, you don't get these forms, but with PayPal to checkout, you get an order form. And these are the easiest ways to process payments. So I've already saved my new page. Let me go back to the hand code, uh, the viewable version, like the way we're going to see it in real life. Let's hit refresh, and here we've got the button, and I can click on the button. And you can see that now it's redirected us to an order page for the Rapid Forex Supreme Trader Package for four ninety seven. And then people can, you know, they can continue, they can, basically they want to save and check out. We go back to this page, see where it says buy from 2CO. Well, that's the way they give it to you, but you can also change it. Now, they do have policies regarding this, so you have to go to the 2Checkout website and read their policies. I'm not going to reiterate them uh, here, but just make sure you, that you always read the policies on the websites for these things. And, yeah, so we can say buy now. And I just need to save the code again because I changed it. need to save it. Back to my page. And as always, we hit refresh. And now it says buy now. And, uh, you know, you can, um, you got to jazz this up. You want to enter a bunch of stuff in here. And I'll show you what we've done on rapidforex.com. Just as an example, uh, you don't have to do it this way. This is just how we've done it. Where, see, we've got all this stuff. Basically, we've got a table here. And we've got a table here. Okay, so here's uh, cell number one, I believe. And then cell number two is just kind of blank over here. And then we've got cell number three. And then just to space this over, we've got it in its own cell. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how we coded it, but that's one way to code it. You could make a two-by-two two table. One cell, two cell, three cell, four cell. There's other ways to do this. There's a few ways, but uh, you could just make a table and... I think that's how I did it on that page. So you can see how we've integrated order buttons. Um, so obviously, the order button by itself, you're going to put all kinds of text around it to make it look nice. But once you determine where you want the order button, you can design the rest first and then just say, this is where I want the order button, and then remove that sentence and then put it there. So I've shown you the very easy process where you just put some sample text just to get it where you want it on the page and then you isolate it basically put some white space above and below uh, that sentence or that phrase and then you know you delete it and you paste the code in the place and that's going to put whatever you were trying to implement it's going to put it in the same spot that your little sample text was and it's that simple and there's other uh, codes that you're going to need to cut and paste for different things you're trying to do online but absolutely 
If you're doing any internet marketing, you're going to be putting an autoresponder form and an order button on your page. If you're an affiliate, you're probably not going to be using order buttons right away, but autoresponder forms, you're always going to want to use them for everything you do online. So I think this is pretty simple and doesn't really need any more explanation. Uh, just being able to cut and paste code is an important technique that you need to know how to do.